today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa and I'm a cruelty YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content. And today, it is the last day in my Luna Beauty Week and I'm going to do a palette bingo with all the... <laughs> Let's see if I can manage this. All the four palettes I have from Luna Beauty. So I'm taking a shade from each of the palettes and do a look with this. And I'm also going to do a review in the end of this video with all the palettes on all the palettes. And maybe a little bit about the brand. I have some more products from Luna Beauty that I also can talk about. So I'm going to draw one shade from each of the palettes. Hope for something good. And then we're going to do a look. So it's a little bit easier this time because all the palettes have 15 colors. So I'm just going to take four random numbers. I don't know if you can see this. I never know what it's like. And I don't know how to fill my screen. I have a Samsung. I don't know if it's possible or not. And it's kind of old, so probably not. So I'm going to... Can I remember four numbers? Hopefully. So 13, 10... Seven and fourteen. Thirteen, ten, seven, and fourteen. So, thirteen is from the Greek goddess, and it is this one. Persima, I don't know the name of this, but this is this is good to have like a base color. So that was number 13. So number 10 is from Strawberry Dream and that is a matte as well. And that is Strawberry Moon, this one. Okay, so far, so good. And then number 7 is from the Moon Spell palette and this might be a shimmer. No. It is not. <laughs> is this one Sarah? Okay, this is name not going to be that easy, but it's more easy with a lot of mattes and a lot of shimmers. And then number 14 is from Eternal Eclipse. And that is also a matte one. Couldn't I get like one shimmer? Okay, I'm going to swatch these for you and for me and we will see how it will look. So not the most fun color story I must say. Hmm, yeah. Why does it always go like this? Either I get like four shimmers and no mattes or I get four mattes. I want a shimmer shade. Is it cheating? Take one more shade. <laughs> I guess I'm going to end up with another sh another metal, but maybe I should try. Okay, I'm shading a little bit, but it's my channel, so I'm going to take the Moon Spell palette and I'm going to draw a shade. If it is a shimmer, I take it. If it is a matte, I will see. So we generate then nine. I think it's a shimmer. It is. It is Samantha, this one. This is a really nice shimmer actually. So that's a little bit better. Um, so okay, I'm going to go with this. And it's my channel so I'm deciding. So this is my color store for today. And I'm going to figure out what I want to do. I'm going to start with the Moon Spell palette and take Sarah in my crease and I kind of sure that I used this in the video I did with this palette this week I must have done it I would say it again I really like this shade I think it is a good shade I don't know why I keep doing palette bingos because it doesn't feel like it's going any good for me. 
I don't know though what I wanted, but maybe something more fun. And like, can I never get like a good mix of shimmers and mattes? And I'm going to continue with the Moonspell palette to take Samantha on my outer part of my lid. Let's see how this will go. I think the shades in this palette is... Even though they are looking kind of neutral, I actually really like them. But I'm going to talk more about that in my review part. They are so easy to work with. So for the rest of my lid I'm going into Strawberry Dream. I'm going to take Strawberry Moon. And I hope that this will go good together. They looked good when I swatched them side to side but I never know. But this works good. I don't know if I've used this shade actually. This works really good together and it goes together with the shade I have in my crease. Thank you. It feels like it has been pretty dark looks this week. I feel like this is going to this is kind of dark as well. Not the darkest though, but kind of dark. Just want to end with I hate this when doing a palette bingo like I never know where to put all the palette. And especially when I have this bigger palettes. Okay, these two are a really really good match. I really like how they look together. So maybe this isn't so bad <laughs> that I was what it was going to be. And maybe it was good that I cheated and took another color. But I think like usually I use around, I think five is a pretty normal f number for me for colors to use in a look. You can use one shade if you want to, you can use two shades. But I think I normally use four. No, five. Jesus. Even though I really like this, I want to try to deepen it down a little bit in my outer corners. So I'm going to go into Eternal Eclipse and take Lagoon, this shade, and just put it in my outer corner. I don't know how this will look. I don't know if this will work. Sometimes it works really good to put a matte shade over shimmer. Sometimes it goes like shit, so we will see. So I dip it into Lagoon. And sometimes you get a really cool effect that you wasn't expecting. And I think that might be the case today. I think I just want to go in with this shimmer shade again. I just think that I want to go in with the shimmer shade Samantha. Just a little bit, so I dip the brush once, tap it off, and then go over it again. And now it's only one shade that I haven't used yet, and that is from the Greek Goddess. It's this one. I'm going to do something with it on my lower lash. So I will fix my base and my brows, and then I come back and we do the lower lash together. And we will use all the shades and see how this look will end up, but so far so good and I don't think I can fuck it up that much with my lower lash line. So on the lower lash I think I would just go in with the shade that I have left from a Greek goddess, this one. I will see if this is enough. I might go in with the darker shade from Eternal Eclipse as well. We'll just see how this looks. This is a little bit warmer. But I can't like control the palette bingo cards. Okay, I think I want to go in with the shade from the Eternal Eclipse. Oh, my hair. I still have it up. <laughs> I just put it up when I was fixing my base. So, 
Okay, so back to the Eternal Eclipse and to Lagoon. And this I mostly want to take just to connect them a little bit better because it is kind of dark out on my lid but not on my lower lash. So, I think the eyeshadow is done. I've used all the five shades. I'm happy with how it looks. So I'm going to put on mascara, lipstick and something in my waterline. For my waterline I did take boots from Colourpop and on my lips I took Witch Bitch from Laura Beauty. I don't even want to know how many videos I've used this one this week. But yeah, this is the finished look. I, I like it. This is something that I could have done without the palette bingo. So yeah, I like it. I really like how it looks when I put the dark blue over the shimmer. Maybe that is going to be my new favorite thing to do. But I think we just hop in to the review. So I'm going to talk about the eyeshadow palettes. I have a blush palette from Luna Beauty. I have a highlighter and a liquid lipstick. And I thought I can talk about all of them. But I will start with eyeshadow palettes. Because that is what this week has been about. So overall of the palettes. I really like all of them. I think they have a similar formula to all of them and I like that they are the same size and I think they look kind of different but I still think they look like the same brand but yeah I'm going to go <laughs> more to each of the palettes so I don't know if all of these are available I don't know Moonspell I think it's going out of stock so it might be be available at some places the Greek goddess I don't know I don't know but I want to talk about all the palettes and I'm sorry if you can't get a hold of them but this is going to be my review with all of the palettes so I think we'd start with the Greek goddess I don't think I know so the Greek goddess I I like the front I am not super thrilled that it's matte because it's getting like kind of dirty but it looks like this. And I actually really like this palette. I think it's this one and Side by Side by Nobla. It is two of my favorite neutral palettes. And the f one thing I really like about this and that I think that Lunar Beauty is really good at. The matte, more neutral shades. They are really, really good. And some of them are so interesting. Like they maybe look... Like this Aphrodite. It doesn't look super exciting in the pan. But when you put it on your eyes. It looks amazing. And I think it's a good mix with shimmers. And with mattes. And I just really like this palette. This is one of these palettes. Like I bought it because it was on sale. And I was like. I think it looks kind of good. But it's nothing that I'm going to be super thrilled about. But it actually is. I was surprised the first time I used it. And the shimmers are so good. I don't know. Like this blue one. It is a good shade. I don't know if I like it that much. But it's a good shade. And it has one lighter shimmer. And I just think it is a good palette. Then I'm going to take Strawberry Dream. This I also bought on sale. And this is a really pink and fun palette. I love the gold on this. The one thing I'm not super thrilled about is the blue ones. I think they could have done the palette without them and maybe do, I don't know, something else. But they're in there. The look that I did, I wasn't super impressed by the blue. They are not bad, but they are not good. They are okay blues. But other than that, I really like it. And it's the same thing with this one like this cloudy it looks really good on the eyes and i like that they are like mattes only here in the middle i think it is that in all the palettes no it's not but i really like how this is how this looks it's shimmers mattes one shimmer and then mattes and i think it's good deep shades in this one 
The only thing, I can feel a little bit restricted with like, I have to do like a pinkish look. And that's why I did use the blues in the look I did this week, because I wanted to do something else than pink. But the shimmers are really, really good. I think I've used all of them actually. I think I have. How many times have I used this palette? I don't know. I think I've used all the shimmers. And like this gold one, I really like that it's in there. And this I can really recommend if you want a pinkish palette, but not like super bright pink, because this has some deeper pinks and some more like not only pink. It's a pink palette, but it's not too pink. And I like this. This though, this smell a little bit, like a little bit sweet. It's not as much now as uh, when I got it, but it smells a little bit. I'm not super thrilled about that. Then the Moonspell palette. It's not a secret that this is one of my favorite palettes in my collection, both like the outside. I love the outside of this. And also the shades are really good. This is the palette I've used the most from Luna Beauty. I really, really love it. And I think it's a really interesting palette. Like the middle row looks kind of boring for me. It looks kind of boring when I look at it. But the shimmers in this middle row, row like Mary and Samantha that I have on today, they are amazing. I don't, I wouldn't say that they are duochrome, but they have like a little bit of shift of something else. And I have done a purple look with this. Was it only purple? Purple-ish look. But I have used all the shades and I think all of the shades work really, really good. And I think it's a good mix of colors. Everything is just so, so good with this palette. Maybe the thing that you can't see it that good because it's like the studio lights. But this is a really good palette and if you can get your hands on this, I really recommend it. And I don't know why they don't want to keep this. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm like 90% sure that this is going out of stock. I don't get it. And then the Eternal Eclipse palette. This one, I think it looks really, really, really interesting. And I think it's a dark palette, but it's not like too dark. The one thing with this one, it's the shimmers are a little bit of different formula throughout the palette. Some of them are really, really good, like this Starry Eyed, I used it in my look I did with this. An amazing shimmer. Gold Dust is also really good. I think it was... I can't remember. I think it was this one I used that I did use with a glitter glue. But this one has the same thing as the other one. The mattes in the middle row. Like this rose form. This is one of my favorite shades in this palette. And it looks so boring. But it looks amazing on the eyes. I haven't used all the shades in this. I haven't done super many looks with this. It's, I really like how it looks. I think it looks interesting. But at the same time, I don't reach for it for some reason. Maybe I should try to do free looks one palette with this one. And really test it out. I am not like super thrilled with the bottom row. Um, I have used smoke. It's a good grey. Do I love grey? No, I do not. The Lagoon. It's okay shade. And uh, then this palette has one thing that I hate. It has a uh, black with shimmers in that they hold up a little bit. I don't know if you can see. They hold up a little bit, but they are going to like fade. It's not fucking oh I have like black everywhere. It is shimmers, but they are like going everywhere and doesn't stay put. So that is not a super favorite for me. I would rather have just a normal matte black. But this, I, I think it's kind of a unique palette, actually. And I think it's I think it's good. It's not my favorite from Nora Beauty, but I think it's a good palette. And this is not their newest anymore. 
but I think the second newest actually. Then we can talk about the Moon Prism Blush Palette. I love this palette. This is so freaking good. It looks like this. I have this Stargaze on today. Did I take this? Yes, I did. And these is some of my favorite blushes. I can't use this Gravity. It is too dark for me and this base I has to be a little bit careful with. But the other ones, they are amazing. If this could would be the only blush palette that I could keep, I would be a little bit sad, but I wouldn't be too sad. Because these are really, really good. And the only thing with this one, when I saw pictures on it, I was like, yeah, it looks good, but it doesn't look amazing. But then I got it home and it looks so much better in real life than it does on the interwebs. I don't know if it looks that fun. It doesn't look that fun in the viewfinder, but it is such a good palette. And the blushes are really pigmented and I think it is really, really good. I use this a lot. My favorite is star gaze and spacey but they are they are really really good and i really really like it and i like the packaging of it the only thing is these are a little bit raised the moons it's a little bit annoying when you're trying to store it but i really like how it looks it feels sturdy and it's amazing and then i think it's like with everything from Luna beauty they are really good at doing packaging and the palettes are a little bit heavy, but I like that. I also have this highlighter from Lunar Beauty. When these first came, I was bashing on this packaging so much. But now I really like it. It looks so, so good. I have in the color Mercury. I think it is the lightest one. It looks like this. This is actually an amazing highlighter. I really like to use setting spray because I want everything to look a little bit better on my face to melt in, to blend in you may say to my skin what are you doing? and I don't need it with this one I have it on today, I don't know how much you can see but this is one of my favorite highlighters the packaging is really good, the formula is really good, the color is really good. This is one of the highlighters. It goes like, go with a warm look, it goes with a cold tone look, it goes with a neutral look, it goes with a really heavy makeup. I really, really like it. And okay, and the last one thing I'm going to talk about is the liquid lipstick in Witch Bitch. This is one of my favorite red lipsticks I have. This is top 5, absolutely top 5, maybe actually top 3. And I want to try more lip products from Lunar Beauty, but I think they mostly have glosses and I am not a gloss person. But the thing I really like about this, the color and the applicator is... I'm going to show you. It's kind of long, but it has a really good shape and it's so easy to paint the lips and it comes really much product so you only need to, you don't need to dip it in. It is enough with the color you get from the beginning. I really like the packaging on this as well and it holds up really good. And it is matte, but it's not drying and it's not like... It feels good on the lips. So this is one of my favorite lipsticks. I would love to try something more from Lunar Beauty when it comes to liquid lipsticks. But I haven't yet. But I can really recommend if the others are the same formula, you're going to have a great liquid lipstick if you want to try one. And yeah, that was all for this video and for this week. I hope that you've liked this week. It has been fun to play with my Lunar Beauty palettes again. I'm going to try to do multiple looks with the Eternal Eclipse. And if you want something more on one of the other palettes, just let me know. I might use them in like a good red with me or something, but it's been so fun. 
I can recommend all the palettes. I think that the formula is really consistent throughout the palettes and I can really recommend the blushes. The blush palette is amazing. So yeah, that was all for my Lunar Beauty Week. I really hope you like it. I think my next theme week is going to be with the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop palettes. I don't know, but I think. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!